Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Gemini. This is going to be for your uh, September 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what you guys need to know for love. Apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, um, if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. All right, so Gemini, what messages do we have here for Gemini? Let's talk about Gemini and love. What does Gemini need to know in love? What does Gemini need to know in love for September 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and also the Empress here. Hmm, seems like someone here is coming in to make you some sort of offer here, Gemini. Okay. Seems like you might be receiving some sort of communication from someone here. Okay. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person wants to work things out here with you. Because I feel like this person's feeling lonely without you. This person's missing you, and I feel like this person does not want to let you go. The Eight of Wands, all right. Three of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. And also we have the uh, Hangman, Piscean Energy. All right. Yeah, I feel like someone here is having a hard time letting you go. Like emotionally, I feel like this person's hung up on you here. I do feel like this person dipped out on you, left you out in the cold, and they feel like this person's coming back around. But I also feel like you're giving this person a taste of their own medicine here because I see you ghosting this person and they're and sort of like bruising their ego here. Yeah. So with the death card here, so I do feel like whatever has ended here, I do feel like you're ending things with this person for good here, Gemini. This is someone that you don't want anyone anything to do with here. I feel like you're trying to move on from this person. All right, some of the Eight of Wands here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Eight of Wands. And the Six of Wands. Some of the Three of Pentacles here. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? The Three of Pentacles. And also the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands, the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, all right, we have the Five of Pentacles here, and the Eight of Cups, and the Hangman, and also the Two of Swords, the Two of Swords here. Mm, seems like whoever this is, this person does not want to cut ties here with you. I, I, I really feel like this person feels like they made a wrong mistake, you know, by walking away from you, by dip, dipping out on you. I feel like this person knows that they should have known better here. Yeah, they should have known better here. Yeah, I, I feel like you're definitely turning the tables on this individual here because I feel like, like I said, you're giving them a taste of their own medicine. Now they're feeling how you're feeling after they dipped out on you, okay? What else do we have here for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know, look out for, work on? What else does Gemini need to know and love for September 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for... Gemini for Gemini here. So we have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We also have the Four of Pentacles here. Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Four of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. Three of Swords and the Four of Swords here. And we have the Three of Wands, and also we have the Three of Cups. Some here definitely broke your heart here. Yeah, and I do feel like some here is definitely coming back around to reconcile. 
okay? I do feel like with the three of wands here, I do feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this person is basically yearning for you here. They're waiting for you to come back. Yeah, they're waiting for you to come back. And, you know, I, I do feel like, yeah, this person could have walked away from you to go towards a third party here. They're realizing that they made a mistake here. They're coming back around for a new beginning here. But, you know, with the, uh, uh, with you ignoring this person here, I feel like, like I said, you're giving this person a taste of their own medicine here, okay? So I do feel like this person realizes that, you know, things will never be the same again between you and them. I don't feel like you want this new beginning with this person here. I do feel like you just want to move on here. The Three of Swords, why is the Three of Swords here? And the Queen of Wands, yeah. I, I, so this is the third party here. Interestingly enough, this person left a trail of destruction here. It's like they went towards the third party. They didn't realize they want the third party. They le they're they leaving the third party here. Now they're coming back to be with you. I do feel like the third party is also broken hearted here. Tell me the four swords. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Four swords here. The four swords. And the nine of swords. Three of Wands. Three of Wands here. And also the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Someone here is really stressed out and anxious. Someone here is just like really worried that this could never come back together again. I feel like this person just really wants to talk to you here. This person really wants to talk to you here, Gemini. And I feel like you're not giving this, this person the opportunity to do it, which is fun. Yeah, I mean, you could do what you want here. Uh, but I do feel like, you know, I mean, not that you guys, some of you guys don't even care if this person's suffering or not. You know, it's kind of like it's just coming up in this reading here. Yeah, you know, with the Empress here, I just feel like you guys are just doing really good on your own, doing really, really well on your own here. With the eight, eight of Swords here and the Four of Cups, I feel like this is an individual here that just cannot stop thinking about you here, uh, Gemini. Yeah, this person cannot stop thinking about you. Let's see what else we have. We have the Ace of Swords. And the Justice card. Some here is definitely paying karma. Some here is definitely facing their karma here. Okay. Yeah, I do feel like this person's definitely created like a lot of toxic energy in around you and in this situation, in this relationship here. Okay. And I do believe that this is a situation here that you do, you did make a final decision in cutting this person out. And I feel like you're not changing your mind here. All right. Yeah, I just feel like you're just going about your daily routine, moving on from this here. Uh, you know, whoever this is, this person's really sorry here. This person misses you a lot with the Six of Cups here. Okay, with the Hierophant here, I feel like this person's realizing their loyalty here towards you. But I also feel like they're realizing that this is too late or that they are too late here, all right? So, um, so Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will speak to you guys in another reading, all right? Thanks, guys. Bye.